Face off. Three, two, one. What do gymnasts, cyclists, and surfers all have in common? Balance. Welcome to Lab Rats. I'm Nico. Let's get our balance on. Whoa! Balancing on one foot can be hard, especially when we're trying to do multiple things at the same time. Have you ever spun around and around and felt dizzy after? Or maybe you felt dizzy after you got off a roller coaster. Maybe getting off a rocking boat. The feeling of dizziness is because your sense of balance was disturbed. Balance is everywhere. For example, Waiters in restaurants use balance to serve food to their customers. Simone Biles used balance in the Olympics on the beam while doing her crazy flips. She is an example of someone who has truly mastered balance. It can be fun to do these trips. Balance is actually a crucial part of our day-to-day -day life. Let's see this concept of balance in action, starting with something simple. Start by taking a pencil, pen, or marker and placing it 30 inches from the wall using a yardstick. Then. Starting from the wall, take a small step forward. Now, try bending down to pick up the pencil without bending your knees. Easy, right? This next one, not so much. I bet you can't do it without falling. You're going to do the same motion, but this time with your heels against the wall and your feet flat on the ground. Keep reaching. Notice how this is practically impossible. By standing directly in front of the wall, we aren't able to move our body to keep our center of mass over our feet. Usually, our center of mass is located around our belly button, but your center of mass changes as your body moves, such as when you bend over. What was the difference between the first and second experiment? The wall. In the first experiment, we did not stand against the wall, so we were able to move our body back to keep our center of mass over our feet. In the second experiment, the wall didn't let us do that. So, when we bent over, our center of mass went in front of our feet, throwing us off balance. Let's zoom into how we find the center of mass in objects. Let's practice this by identifying the center of mass on the yardstick. The center of mass is a point where all mass is equal on both sides. Here's a trick to it. Place your fingers on the end points of the object and slowly pull your fingers to the center. Let's try it with a broomstick. It's important to note that the center of mass is not always on the center. A point where it splits the two sides of the same mass is the center of mass. When we understand how the center of mass in our body works, balance is actually a skill that we can learn and practice. Even though we learn this skill as babies, knowledge of this skill can still be applied to more than just our body. We can explore this use in our next lab by using cups. For this lab, you'll need 21 red solo cups and a yardstick. First, place one cup under the yardstick and balance the other two cups on each end of the stick. Once you successfully balance the two cups, try adding six more cups. Place them on the structure. Is it easier when the cups are on the ends or in the middle? Continue to balance the structure while constantly adding six more cups. Stop when you have 20 cups on the top and one on the bottom. You can test its structure by giving it an earthquake test. You can further challenge yourself by making the tallest structure you can. What were some of the differences between the structures that were balanced versus the ones that fell? You were able to balance these cup structures because the center of mass stayed over the base. Or, if your cup tower fell, it was because the center of mass was not over the base. This doesn't only apply to cups though, because anything with a mass also has a center of mass, which is why it's super important to, for us to understand it. All right, everyone, today we're gonna be testing our balance. So everyone put their feet shoulder width apart and stand. Now, that's pretty easy, we do that every day. But how about we try doing it on one leg, all right? A little harder, right? Okay, but everyone can still do that. You can stand there all day. Let's try something a little bit more difficult. Try patting your head and rubbing your stomach. Okay. Everyone still got it. Wow. You guys are some pretty good balancers. Let's start trying the Macarena. <laughs> oh my god. Did you see how do we know how to do it? Are we gonna like. Alright, guys. Now, one last challenge. I bet you guys won't balance very long. 
everyone on one leg, and close your eyes. Now look to your right, now look to your left. Okay? See, that was much harder. You can open your eyes now. I'm still good. Okay, <laughs> yes. fine. Close your eyes. Up to the ceiling. Look up to the ceiling. <laughs> so now you know how balance works. Whether you're an acrobat ready to walk the tightrope or an engineer building a monument, balance is used in every aspect of our lives. So make sure to stay on your feet and, as always, happy science! Like